I hope your first day of family camp was amazing. I'm Ivy, and I am the children's pastor at First Baptist Richardson, and I have been praying for you. Really, I have been praying for you by name leading up to this weekend. So, I've got a little bedtime story for you tonight, but before I start, I need to be sure that you are ready. So, by the time I count to 10, here's what you need to do. Your PJs need to be on. The lights need to be dim or off. You need to be comfy cozy in your bed. Turn your voice off and tell your body to be still. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, are you getting close? Nine, nine and a half, and 10. Our story tonight comes from the Jesus Storybook Bible. The beginning, a perfect home. In the beginning, there was nothing, nothing to hear, nothing to feel, nothing to see, only emptiness and darkness and nothing but nothing. But God was there and God had a wonderful plan. I'll take this emptiness, God said, and I'll fill it up. Out of the darkness, I'm going to make light. And out of the nothing, I'm going to make everything. Like a mommy bird flutters her wings over her eggs to help her babies hatch, God hovered over the deep, silent darkness. He was making life happen. God spoke, that's all. And whatever he said, it happened. God said, Hello, light, and light shone into the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness night. You're good, God said, and they were. Then God said, Hello, sea, hello, sky, and a great space opened up wide and deep and high. You're good, God said, and they were. Then God said, Hello land, and there, splashing up through the oceans, came cliffs, mountains, sandy beaches. You're good, God said, and they were. Hello trees, God said, hello grass and flowers, and everything everywhere burst into life. He made buds bud, shoots shoot, flowers flower, you're good, God said, and they were. Hello stars, God said, hello sun, hello moon, and whizzing into the darkness came fiery globes spinning around and around, whirling orange and purple and golden planets. You're good, God said, and they were. Hello birds, God said, and with a fluttering and flapping and chirping and singing, birds filled the skies. Hello fish, God said, and with a darting and dashing and wriggling and splashing, fish filled the seas. You're good, God said, and they were. Then God said, hello animals, and everyone came out to play. The earth was filled with noisy noises, growling and gobbling and snapping and snorting and happy scurfluffling. You're good, God said, and they were. God saw all that he had made, and he loved them, and they were lovely because he loved them. But God saved the best for last. From the beginning, God had a shining dream in his heart. He would make people to share his forever happiness. They would be his children, and the world would be their perfect home. So God breathed life into Adam and Eve. When they opened their eyes, the first thing they ever saw was God's face. And when God saw them, he was like a new dad. 
You look like me, he said. You're the most beautiful thing I've ever made. God loved them with all of his heart, and they were lovely because he loved them. And Adam and Eve joined in the song of the stars and the streams and the wind and the trees, the wonderful song of love to the one who made them. Their hearts were filled with happiness, and nothing ever made them sad or lonely or sick or afraid. God looked at everything he had made perfect, he said, and it was. But all of the stars and the mountains and the oceans and galaxies and everything were nothing compared to how much God loved his children. He would move heaven and earth to be near them, always, whatever happened. Whatever it cost him, he would always love them. And so it was that the wonderful love story began. And God really, really loves you. I want you to think about your very favorite day of your whole life. I want you to picture it in your head. What happened on that day? What food did you eat? What smells did you smell? What did you see? What did you do? I want you to see it in your mind, just like you were there. I want you to picture what other people shared that day with you because chances are you were not alone so do you see the faces of the people that were with you and if you think about it God created those people too and that day would not have been so wonderful had those people not been there And God did that for you. So in your head right now, I'm going to give you a minute. And I want you to tell God, thank you for those people. Okay, now picture what feelings you had on that day. And oftentimes we don't even notice that we have feelings. They're part of our day all day long. And sometimes we don't even notice that we have them. But on your very favorite day, did you laugh? Did you feel happy? Did you smile? And God created you to have feelings and to feel different ways. And our days would not be quite as special if we didn't have feelings. So in your head, tell God, thank you for giving you different feelings and especially the feelings that you felt on your very favorite day. Picture the things in creation that you experienced on that day. You may have been at the beach and felt sand or water. You may have been playing outside and felt grass or seen a bird or felt sun on your face. You may have been skiing down a mountain in the snow, the the snow that you saw and the mountains that you saw. Do you know that God created that 
day for you to enjoy. That the bird that flew by in the sky, he put that there for you. Or the snow that fell the night before as you skied down that mountain, he made that happen. Or the sun shining, he created that for you to enjoy. So in your head, tell God thank you for giving you his creation to enjoy. God, I thank you for my friend falling asleep right now. Help them to sleep well. Give them dreams that are from you that are sweet and happy dreams. God, thank you for creating each of us for a special purpose. And thank you for loving us.